everyone, welcome to Break It Pros. It's Kuma here. Welcome to the first episode of Potato Gamers. In this episode, I will give you a tutorial how to play WW13 in your Potato PC with average 30 FPS. If for real, you can play this game in your Potato PC. This game is still playable in 25 to 30 FPS in my Potato PC. But before we begin, let's play the intro. Bazinga! Bruh! Bazinga! Okay! FYI, for your info, WW13 is a professional wrestling video game developed by Ux and published by THQ for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Wii. So this game is not available on PC or Windows, but if you guys want to play this game, you can use emulator. So far, there are two emulators you can use to play WW13. The first one is RPCS3 to emulate PS3 games, and secondly Dolphin Emulator to emulate GameCube and Wii games. But we're not gonna use RPCS3 because the specification or system requirement to emulate PS3 game is pretty high. Instead, we are going to use Dolphin Emulator. This emulator is pretty good for low-end PC. But what is the difference between PS3 game and Wii games? The big difference between PS3 version and Wii version is the graphic, of course. Here's the graphic comparison. I know, the Wii version has a PS2 like graphic, but don't worry, it's still worth it, it has the same feature, and also fun to play. Ok, enough talk, this is my PC specification. I'm using Intel Core i5 3rd generation, RAM I'm using 4GB single channel, GPU, I'm using Intel Core i5 i GPU, which is Intel HD 4000 operating system, Windows 10 64 bit, version 22H2. So, if you have the same or similar PC specification as mine, you can follow my setting instruction right after this. I like big guns and I cannot lie. By the way, I'm using Dolphin Emulator version 5.0. I will give the download link in the description below, so make sure to check the description. Ok, now just open Dolphin Emulator and click the graphic option, and then in general setting, make sure to leave that V-Sync unchecked, because it will slow down your game. Now we move to enhancement. For the internal resolution, make sure you choose 640x 53 h because if you insist to choose 720p, the result will be like this. Here we go. This match will not be pretty. It will be great and As you can see, the frame rate are suddenly drops and it is not playable. Okay, let's continue. For any so traffic filtering, just choose one and let the post-processing effect off, don't turn it on, and then check disable copy filter and force 24p color. Moving on to hack, check star EFP copies, detector only and ignore format change. You can choose fast option for texture change. No need to check GPU texture decoding. For the XFB, check all of them and leave the one in the middle. And the last one, you can check all of the options. Yep, that's it. Your game should have been playable now in average 25 to 30 FPS. Okay, thanks for watching. Kumaji out. And this is the gameplay preview. Yeah.
right on his head with a DDT. Oh, just throwing his opponent to the floor. Let's go! 